In this video, I want to cover how you can set up dynamic role level security for your Power BI report. We're going to go through it step by step together with some simple examples so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanana and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So I got a comment in one of my videos asking me to cover RLS again but specifically covering the difference between dynamic and static RLS which I didn't cover in my previous RLS video. If you haven't seen that, uh, check it out. But to summarize it, if you don't want to check it out, is you create a role within the Power BI desktop of your reports, you publish it into the service and then you assign people in this uh, role level security that you've created in the role in order to apply the RLS, the role level security for your data. It's a pretty simple implementation and it works. But the problem is that this logic of who has access to what is embedded to the single report. So it means that if you have to create multiple reports in the future, you need to recreate these roles into to those specific reports and then you have to reassign the people in those reports to uh, apply the role level security to them and this in turn becomes very tedious especially if you have multiple reports with their own roles and different people assigned to them uh, it can be a lot of work um, managing all of those and this type of implementation is called a static RLS so pretty much what I did in the previous video what we need to implement is dynamic RLS which is the ability to control permission uh, not individually in those reports but as part of your data set and in order to set up a dynamic RLS we need two things we need to find out who's logging in to the reports and we need to find a way to figure out and filter the data based on who is running the report so here's a very simple demo that I prepared today we have a user's data table which has some employee information it has annual salary data which we'll treat as a sensitive data we want to protect this uh, data um, so that only the right people can see uh, data for which user we have a regions table which just lists the region um, and we also have a permissions table so this permissions table solves our first problem which is uh, you know saying who has access to which region and if we look at the model view here we just have a relationship between the region and the user data the idea is that whoever is logged in at the moment they should only be able to see the regions that are assigned to them based on the permissions table that we have here so you'll see in the permissions table here we have the names we have email addresses and the regions that they have access to so what does this mean so what this means is that uh, for example if i log in as my email for then that's solutions abroad uk this tells me that i have access to eu and na data uh, which means that um, if I log in to this report, uh, if I try to use it in the service, uh, I shouldn't be able to see APAC in, in my data set no matter what. Now, how do we figure out who's logged into the report itself? Well, there's a handy function that we can use called the user principal name, uh, which determines who is logged in and using the report currently. And this is what we'll use to essentially filter our report. And I've already created a measure that kind of uh, emulates how this would look like here. And if you look at the um, formula bar here, it's pretty much just the function here, user principal name. And to preview how that looks like, I'm going to drag it in the card here. So you can see a preview. And you'll see it gives me uh, who is logged in at the moment. Now, if you're using report server uh, or you're using local machine like I am now, it's giving me the uh, local username that I have now. And by the way, if you're using report server, you should be using the username uh, function. However, if you publish this report into the service, obviously this will be your uh, Power BI service account, which will be the email address. So that's what we have here. And don't worry if it's confusing at the moment, we'll do some demo uh, on how this would look like. So from here, what we need to do is we need to set up the filtering capabilities of this permissions table. So we want to be able to filter the regions table, which should filter the user data table because that's what we have set up here. So what we'll need to do is we will need to create a relationship between the permissions table 
to the region and we'll say whatever is selected in the permissions table we want to filter to the region uh, which in turn will filter the user data table now if you just drag the region um, to the regions table here um, it will or rather it might show the flow of data the flow of filtering the arrow here it says that you will use the region table to filter the permissions table we want actually for it to go the other way so to overcome this we'll double click on the relationship here you need to make sure that you cross filter to both directions this way uh, the filtering can go towards the region table as well and it's very important you need to take this apply security filter in both directions so this means that if you filter or rather if you use the RLS to filter the permissions table it should apply a security filter on on the tables that are related to it so if hit OK here you see that that should change to like a double uh, arrow and now I think we're ready to test from here. So as before, when you want to set up an RLS for the first time, we'll click here on the modeling, manage roles, and we'll create a new role here. Uh, and bear in mind here, in the previous version, we had to create uh, different roles, let's say EU, APAC, uh, but in this case, we'll just create one role. We'll say permissions role. And we want to filter the permissions table and we want to filter the email. Now, we want to filter the email based on the user principal name. So if you remember, this is the function that we had before, um, which will uh, show us who's logged in at the moment. So let's save this. So let's hit the check box here to make sure everything is okay, and then we'll hit save. And now what we'll do, I will just copy this um, this value here my email and then let's try to emulate how this would work so let's hit view as select these and I'm just pasting as if I'm logged in as Fernand and okay so just to have a look at what's here so uh, for Fernand uh, the email Fernand we should not be able to see APAC or, or, or APAC people in our user data table that is the main objective so we'll simulate the fact that I've logged in so if we hit OK here you'll see that it's filtered us the data so as Fernand if I log in and view this report in the service I should only be able to see what is given to me based on the permissions table and you see that I didn't have to create separate uh, role level security for a region uh, EU or NA and then assign myself to it all I had to do is um, check who's logged in and then use the permissions table to filter my data accordingly so let's stop viewing for now and let's publish this into the service so we can actually see this in action so let me publish this save and I'll just publish it in my workspace now let's open that report so when you open it for the first time you'll see that oh you can see everything even though you're logged in as Fernand um, if you're the owner or yeah if you're the owner or the publisher of the report you will as default have access to the whole of the data set um, and the RLS only kicks in for other people accessing it um, but if you want to see how it would look like if you were logged in as yourself uh, let's go to the workspace let's go to the data set here click the ellipsis security and you'll see here that you will have the permissions RLS which we have created here um, what you can do to simulate it here in the service you can click here and test as role so you'll see you have the kind of view as like as if you were uh, assigned to EU and NA so now that we can see that it works let's share this to somebody else let's share it to John and let's see how John will perceive this report because John also has some limitations with this report right so a couple of things that we need to do first we need to add John to the role level security just make sure that he has access to the data save and also we need to go to the reports and we need to share it to him Right, so we need to hit share. Uh, people in your organization, it doesn't really matter. Let's do specific people instead. And let's say, let's give him access to everything. And let's type 
John. So John is part of my organization and I want to share it to him. So I'm going to copy the link and then I'm going to share this to John. So now we're signed in as John and you can see here we're signed in as John at Solutions Road UK and we have just copied that link to share to John. So as John will access that link so I'll just enter it here and it'll give me access to that report and now you'll see that the report recognized me as John and it's filtered the data uh, to only be able to see the regions that I have access to which is APAC and NA so I don't see any employees that are in EU. One important thing to understand with the RLS is that um, because it's a security filter and if the RLS is applied even if you manage to get a hold of the data sets, um, you still won't be able to disable that security filter. So what I mean by that is, for example, let's go to my workspace and let's create a new report. Uh, let's say we can create a report from published data sets that we have access to. And you'll see, whoa, I have access to this data set that it's been shared to me. So remember when I shared it to John for the first time, I gave him access to uh, be able to build reports on top of this data set. Now, uh, let's see what it looks like. So I'm gonna check, check this uh, data set to use and let's hit create. So now you see that I have access to the underlying data here, which is great. But what you'll see uh, when I bring in region, you'll see that the data set doesn't allow him, or rather it doesn't allow John to see the other regions. So it still has the RLS applied to it, regardless uh, if you have access, direct access to that data set, which is uh, great when it comes to um, securing your data. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start setting up dynamic role level security in your Power BI reports. Leave a like in this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.